Hello everybody and welcome back to Southeast by Midwest. I'm Cassie and today we are going to be talking about the Stella Chroma Expelliarmus Nail Polish. This came from the Cast a Spell box that I unboxed a couple weeks ago. So if you want to know what my thoughts are on this and how it swatches, just keep watching. <music> here on Southeast by Midwest before we talk about the products we always disclose and the disclosure for this video is there's nothing to disclose I got the box on my own and I don't think that Stella Chroma even knows who I am so let's jump in to swatching and my thoughts all right so I already went on ahead and painted my nails with the um, OPI Nail Envy Nail Strengthener Base Coat. Somebody asked me in the comments of last week's videos how I like it. I really do like it. It actually has helped with making my nails stronger than what they were. And if you have a problem with your nails being weak or brittle, I do highly suggest this. But I went on ahead and did that because you saw it last week. And it's not like putting a top coat over the polish. So I just went on ahead and did that off camera and let that dry. I didn't want to mention because last week I noticed during editing that I had some taco sauce on my hands from when I got up and went and did some stuff to like let my back rest. I do want to mention that I do have a swatch here. It's because I'm doing a project pan which I will also be filming here shortly and I went on ahead and swatched it and it won't come off. So today we are doing the second polish from the Cast a Spell box and this is the Stella Chroma Expelliarmus and it can is the only polish that came in like an outer unit carton instead of just the bottle which for an indie brand I thought was fabulous I mean hello so she's got some info on here according to where her company is from and the website which is really cool she's got the ingredients on the back including the fact that she is not tested on animals and that this has a 24 month shelf life um I don't actually follow that with nail polishes in all honesty I have polishes that are several years old and as long as they don't get thick and too goopy and stuff like that um, I tend to keep them there's no polish name on the box itself it is on the bottle but we'll get to that in a minute because first I want to read to you what this says in case the print is too small for you to read this right here says at Stella Chroma we believe in the confidence that comes with a fresh coat of polish in the power of 15 minutes of pampering to turn a meh morning into a hell yes day. We want to live in a world where women can be safe, sexy, and healthy at the same time, where beauty is not dependent on your gene size. We refuse to accept that looking and feeling fabulous requires exposure to a cocktail of carcinogens in your beauty products, and we will not be judged by old school beauty standards. That is why we chose to formulate brilliant polishes and hand care products that are intentionally free of the five most heinous beauty offenders. Join us and be part of the revolution, celebrating healthy as the new sexy. Grasp the reins with your beautifully manicured hands and show the world what you're made of. I really liked that, so I kind of wanted to let you guys know that that's what that says. So let's go ahead and take a look at this polish. I will tell you more about the brand and the polish itself after we um, paint the first coat. So this is what this looks like. And this is, like I said, Expelliarmus. So I'm going to go on ahead and paint the first coat. And while it dries, I will tell you about Stella Chroma and then this polish specifically. Um, as you can see, the brush is one of those nice wide brushes. I am a big fan of brushes like that. I'm going to have to do some major cleanup on that, though. That was my fault, though. I really should have redipped, but I was trying to make that one work. So it's a nice wide brush, which I tend to like. I'm not a big fan of the itty bitty living space brushes. Um, if you can't tell, uh, I speak in song lyrics, movie quotes, Disney quotes. So did anybody catch the O Town um, reference in the Boxy Charm September unboxing? If you go back, I mentioned it on Instagram that there was a O-Town reference in there. And when I go to swatch the Pretty Vulgar palette, I ask you, should I swatch them all or nothing at all? That was O-Town's really big hit. Um, they were a band from like the early 2000s. So, and I really like them. So this is what the first coat looks like. What do we think? Do we like? 
kind of hard for me to see this time for some reason. I don't know why. Hopefully it's showing up really good because I can't see the little um, display up there today as well. I'm actually going to be painting both hands today but not on camera because I'm actually filming like so many videos because I have a chest coat starting. So I want to get them filmed so that when it hits I can still put out content and I can quit falling off the radar for a little bit. But let's talk about this, pol well let's cap this polish for me. What are the heck are you doing there Cassie? Alright so this is the polish as you can see the bottle is round. The, the only thing I'm not a fan of is I don't like this like really short handle that's going on right here. Um, I tend to prefer the longer handles like with the OPI, see how that's long and how this one, um, by the way this was the first polish from the cast of spellbox can you see it yeah there you go um this was the first polish this we did this last week i will link that either up above or down below um this was prior encantado from night l lacquer who's the main person behind the box now i will say that stick those back over there um essie has these same short round little handles as you can see oh maybe i should do it this way <laughs> as you can see they're very similar i'm not a big fan of them on the essie bottles either it's why i don't have a lot of essie polishes the only ones that i will really let get away with it as you can see it's actually a little shorter on this formula x but formula x products were just so stinking good that i'm like I'll, I'll let them get away with it plus it's got this ridging that helps me hold on my problem is is that my fingers are so sort of like chubby because I'm a chubby girl, that keeping a hold of this, it kind of, it doesn't work well for me. So, not a big fan of that. But the bottle is round, the handle is short. This is a 15 milliliter polish or 0.5 fluid ounces. And as I said, this came in the Casta Cell All box. This is the second polish. The box was $49 plus shipping. And you got five polishes and some decals. And like I said, this is the second one. We'll be going through the other three polishes over the next couple of weeks. This is a red chrome polish, which you can see, and it's not opaque in one coat, uh, and it shifts to gold at like extreme angles. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that on camera or not, but I can see it doing it in person. And it has a gold shimmer, iridescent flakes that are supposed to be a nod to like the Battle of Hogwarts. You might be able to see it a little better in the bottle, hopefully. Um, they are five free as they mentioned and they are cruelty free like I mentioned. Normally one of their polishes will round you about $12 and on their shop which I will link down below um, you can pay $6 for rush processing. They have you know different like off uh, shoot polishes that are um, pop culture themed and just you know normal polishes and from what I saw in their shop she had some Harry Potter and Game of the Thrones Game of Thrones collections up so we're gonna go on ahead and do a second coat now because I've been rambling long enough with some cuts in there that um, this is dry I will say that this looks really really gorgeous um, the formula is a bit, I don't know how to describe it. The formula is a, um, is a thicker one in some spots, like with the, where the flakes and stuff are. So you could probably get away if you wanted to with doing just one coat if you did it super thick. But I prefer to do it a bit thinner, but that does make it kind of, if you don't wait, um, because like I said, I, the way that I, I don't, I believe I mentioned this last week, that I did these polishes already and this is like my second time doing them because I want to tell you like what I think of the wear time and stuff like that. I found that when I did this last time, if I did not let the first coat dry all the way, if you do too thin of a coat, it grabs up that, that first coat if it's not all the way dry. And, whoops, let me get rid of some of that. Um, it grabs it up and it kind of just basically pulls it up instead of laying down a second coat. So you do kind of have to be a little careful with that. So now you're getting that really red chrome and that gold in there. Before it was kind of looking like a rose gold kind of a lightness to it. Hang on, let me cap it. But now it is just stunning. So I think a second coat is really kind of needed in order to get the true color of it. And from what I can tell, this is opaque in two coats. So I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna do some cleanup and then I'm gonna come back with um, 
uh, the top and show you what it looks like after I top coat and spray it. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. I already have the top coat on. I again used the OPI plumping top coat and I went on ahead and did my what's called Cindy hand I have found out. You know, it's the hand that does all the work but never gets dressed up to go to the party. So, and I sprayed with the OPI Rapid Dry, which is my favorite thing in life, especially if I'm doing both hands. Um, I only did one coat on the Cindy hand, just so you know. I'm not doing a second coat, I already top coated it and dried it. I just basically want it to look uh, not naked <laughs> in all the other videos. So this is what it looks like. I will say that I really did love this polish. Application can be a little bit tricky um, just due to the texture of it, but I still think it's worth trying them out, especially with their little um, little mission statement there on the side of their box. Totally worth supporting in my opinion. Um, I will say that the wear time was not as good as the Night Owl um, lacquer, but again, that just could be because of the um, texture of the polish and again like I said when I did this the last time to check the wear time I put the second coat on while the first coat was still a little wet um, and that made it kind of um, peel up a little bit so that could be why it didn't last as long so I'm going to check this to see how well this lasts and I will kind of give you an update in next week's video so if that changes on the wear time i mean it wasn't just like a day it didn't ship like the first day it did last several days it just didn't last the full week that the prior encantado lasted but i still do highly recommend them so if you've liked this video and found it informative make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with all your friends it really does help make sure to follow me on all the social media linked down below make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos if you like um leave me a comment down below telling me what can we talk about today um i'm trying to look around here for some inspiration i said to tell me what your favorite like nail polish brand last week was so this week tell me what your favorite top coat is yes that's what we'll do in the comments down below tell me what your favorite top coat is and until next time bye